hello my Soka universe. Well, it is 4th of July, we know what date this is. But not only that, no, uh, the US women made it two days ago to the World Cup final, women's World Cup final, um, against these guys, my beloved Dutch. And the men, and I want to actually make a brief video about the whole tournament, made it to the Gold Cup final. So um, I think all points point toward the fact that I should look at my other US jersey, which I do now in this little jersey review. My other US jersey is this one. This was actually my first US jersey. It's actually this beauty. It is a beauty, except for a few weird things from the 2010 World Cup. The, they wore this jersey twice during that competition. Uh, for the first time they wore it against Algeria in the final group game where a 90th minute goal by Landon Donovan not only secured passage for them into the next round but also that they win the group ahead of England. I have to say at this World Cup the US was my home team. I was living in America at the time. We were watching these games together. This became my team and for that World Cup I said I need a US jersey. I actually didn't like this one that much. I wanted to actually have the one that they wore in 2008 to 2009 for the simple reason. They made it to the Confederations Cup final uh, back then. And so um, that was special and it actually looked less with the gray and white uh, hoops with a little bit red in between. That was a pretty beautiful one, but in the end I couldn't really get it for a decent price. So I decided in the end on this America jersey. Well. Sorry, thought they interrupted my video. Um, in the end, I said I need to get one and I got one for the World Cup. I, it was between the white one and the blue one. Blue one had the same design, just uh, dark blue with the white sash and a little bit red, which in a way looked really nice, but it wasn't your typical US jersey. I said for me, US jersey is white with a little bit navy. So in the end, that's why this one out. I was so undecided. If that uh, blue one would have had a red sash, I think it wouldn't have, no, no, it would have been a contest or a um, striped sash, but uh, they didn't. And I had, I even asked my colleagues back then in America, which one should, should I get? I asked 10 colleagues, guess what the vote was? 5-5. Five, five. Tells you that much. Let's look at the features. Features, first of all, the design. It has the sash design, which basically was a throwback to the 1950 World Cup uh, shirt where they had a red sash going on. And I actually would prefer if this was a red sash. I actually think this would have looked nice. Here it's just gray, which is a little bit sublimated, but also nice. Um, I like that the sash contains a Nike logo. Um, this US crest, I find not really nice, to be honest. Uh, I, it never made sense to me. The stripes on the US flag are red and white. Why do you have blue and white stripes? Why do you have this weird soccer ball here? Why is it US? What are those three stars standing for? At that time, the women had only won two World Cups. So it, this never made sense to me. I think this was the weakest point of that jersey. Otherwise, I think a jersey is nice. And they kept this crest for way too long until I think 2016. For only once they had this, and we have the Centenary jersey, this crest they should have all the time. This is the best US crest ever. Uh, I, I would say I, I wish they would wear this. But yeah, we have this crest. I mean, it is what it is. Um, I mainly object to the color choice and this soccer ball here. I don't like if there's a soccer ball in the crest. Um, but I, I like at least that it has shield. It makes it a distinct soccer jersey. The other kind of weird thing is there is of course some red in this band stripe uh, along the sleeves. It looks like a band-aid to me. It absolutely looks like a band-aid and this is uh, it's weird. Why are the dots in there? But you know Brazil had something like that, the Dutch had something like that. The collar is not a necessary crew neck, it is a kind of a fold over crew neck which makes a V here and one of the nicer features on the inside here is a snake, don't tread on me of course, very American. And on the back we have written USA, all the teams that were for, uh, with Nike at that World Cup had something like that. And of course there is some side 
ventilation. Um, if you, I have a player version jersey of the 2020 and it was Croatia, which, which was not at the World Cup, Croatia away, linking up there, which is of course even more uh, heavily ventilated. Another interesting feature we saw here, the Don't Tread On Me snake in here, it's also on the inside of the crest. It says DTOM, Don't Tread On Me, you have the snake, the rattlesnake of course. Uh, this was the thing that the Nike teams had, that they had on the inside of the crest something. Uh, I'm surprised that this even is a large. Uh, where did I get this? I got this at the World Soccer Store. Um, together with the other jersey for the 2010 World Cup, the first one that I bought, which was, no, it was not my Spain jersey, it was this Cameroon jersey that we'll look uh, at a little bit spate, uh, uh, later. I will actually, I got actually the Spain jersey after I saw it a little bit later, I got that one. And that's still my favorite jersey of the 2010 World Cup. But yeah, this is also a nice jersey. I think it really looks good. It just, this doesn't make it look too American. If this sash was red and white stripes, I think it would look even more American. And then put a, maybe put even some stars here. That's what I would have liked. But yeah, it is what it is. Let me know how you like this jersey. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this jersey and this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.